from a new Triceratops type dinosaur to an extinct burrowing bat that will make your skin crawl. Here are 10 amazing prehistoric creatures recently discovered. Number 10. New Mexican Triceratops New dinosaur species are always exciting, right? Check this one out. A new dinosaur has been found in Mexico and it looks an awful lot like a Triceratops. It's actually been identified as a new species of horned dinosaur, what's known as a Ceratopsid. It lived about 82 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, making it one of the oldest horned dinosaurs in the world. But it wasn't very big. The creature only grew to be a maximum of about 15 feet or 4.5 metres in length. Though, of course, it was still significantly larger than most land animals today. If it were around now, it would terrify you if you encountered it. One thing that makes this new dinosaur, named Menephiceratops cilii, so unique from others is that it had a distinct bone that formed a huge frill above its head, called a squamosal. It was less ornate than the frills on the other ceratopsids, but it was more concave, which is something scientists haven't seen much of before. This amazing dinosaur lived throughout North America and, like all its fellow dinosaurs, was wiped out with the great meteorite 66 million years before today. Number 9. Ancient Trilobite Researchers have discovered the fossil of a trilobite from 429 million years ago. And while trilobites themselves are nothing new, this fossil was something different. Scientists were able to see the internal structure of its eye. This is something that has never been done before. By studying the eye of the trilobite, scientists realised it's almost exactly the same as that of the modern bees, crustaceans and dragonflies. Trilobites lived on Earth and were wiped out before the dinosaurs even came around. They were tiny arthropods with some tiny specimens only a millimetre in length that lived in the water and were related to modern insects and spiders. They were some of the earliest invertebrates of their kind. But what's amazing is that after finally seeing the eye structure of a trilobite, scientists learned that they had such efficient vision that over the next 429 million years, other arthropods didn't really need to adapt much. The internal eye structure of this family of animals has remained the same for half a billion years. It must be a pretty successful ocular design to last that long, don't you think? Number 8. Sea Dragon a British fossil hunter recently discovered a previously unidentified sea dragon on the English coast. Steve Etches found the immaculately preserved fossil of an ichthyosaur stuck in limestone at a place called the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. He handed the fossil over to scientists at the University of Portsmouth, who then spent a year working with it before they finally identified it as an entirely new species. According to their findings, the ichthyosaurus lived around 150 million years ago. It's been named the Etches Sea Dragon after its discoverer. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Wouldn't you love to have a species named after you? What better way is there to be remembered for all time? Sounds pretty incredible to me. Experts say that in the United Kingdom alone, they have identified at least five different species of ichthyosaur to date from the late Jurassic period. The reason they're called sea dragons is because they have extremely large eyes and teeth. They were highly adapted underwater predators who glided through the water using their tail for propulsion instead of fins. They hunted fish and squid, with the largest of them being in North America. The largest ichthyosaur skull ever found was nearly 15 feet or 4.5 metres long. This newest ichthyosaur is the smallest ever discovered, making it more of a baby sea dragon. Number 7. Extinct Crocodile In the middle of the Australian outback, a new crocodile species has been discovered. Of course, this crocodile has been extinct for millions of years. Its skull was dated at being 8 million years old, though these ferocious creatures probably roamed the Australian continent as far back as 25 million years ago. What's truly fascinating is that according to Adam Yates, the senior curator of Earth Sciences at the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory, this ancient crocodile is of absolutely no relation to modern crocodiles. Modern crocodiles only recently arrived in Australia and actually began life in Africa. They only immigrated to Australia a couple of million years ago. This new crocodile was very similar in size to the modern saltwater crocodile, but it may have been even stronger. The sheer size of its skull suggests a thickly muscled monster with deep jaws and especially massive teeth. It was probably a specialist in eating large flightless birds that used to live in Australia. To give you a good idea of just how strong the crocodile was, 
These birds that it preyed upon were about 9 feet or 3 meters tall and weighed upwards of 1,400 pounds. That's over 650 kilos. Unfortunately, the crocodile hasn't been given a name yet. It's expected to be unveiled as a new species in 2022. Number 6. Armoured Shark Sharks are scary, right? They glide through the water, ready to strike if they think you'd make a good meal. But one of their weaknesses is their soft bodies, as many people know. You can try to punch a shark in its face, and if you're in luck, you may be able to get it to go away. But what if the shark had armour? That would make it an even deadlier threat, right? Check this out. Yet another amazing new species has been found off the Jurassic coast of Dorset in England. This time, scientists discovered an armoured shark. The shark dates back 150 million years and has been classified as a very rare fossil. It belonged to an extinct group of animals known as Hybodontiform, which were close prehistoric relatives to our modern sharks. The fossil was discovered stuck in a slab of rock and then taken to the Museum of Jurassic Marine Life. What makes this fossil so rare is that it's the only one of its kind ever to be found. No other specimens of this extinct shark have been uncovered by paleontologists. They don't actually know what the shark looked like or how it behaved, though they know it was definitely covered in something similar to armour plating. Picture a huge fish covered in armour scales with rows of shark teeth like a great white shark, but even more terrifying. Number 5. Ancient Camel Camels are already funny looking animals. But a fossilised ancient camel in Colorado? This one was surprising. In late 2020, the fossil of a very strange ancient camel was discovered during some construction work. The construction crew were working in the area around Brighton Boulevard in Denver when they found a large group of fossils spanning a time between 2.6 million and 11,700 years ago. The most fascinating fossil belonged to the ancient camel. But what did this prehistoric beast look like? It was quite similar to modern camels that you see today. However, the only thing researchers aren't sure about is whether it had a hump. It could have been a humpless camel. But what's really cool is just knowing that camels used to live all across North America. In fact, they lived alongside prehistoric horses and mastodons and even went extinct at around the same time as them about 10,000 years ago. They died as a result of human hunting and climate change. Ancient humans had absolutely no reservations about taking their spears and attacking these odd-looking animals, it seems. Number 4. Dinosaur Bird The very tiny fossil of a prehistoric baby bird recently discovered is helping experts to understand how exactly avian creatures came into existence. It's sort of cute, if you use your imagination and think about what it must have looked like when it was still alive. The fossil dates back to something during the Mesozoic era, which was between 250 and 65 million years ago. To date, it's the smallest avian fossil ever discovered from this era. It came from a group of extinct birds called Enantiornithes and was smaller than your pinky finger. But here's what makes this fossil so important. The chick died almost immediately after it was born. This has enabled researchers to analyze the bird's bone structure in the middle of its development. Understanding how extinct animal bones developed can help scientists learn a lot about their lives. And according to Dr. Fabian Knoll from the University of Manchester, they can even learn about a certain animal's evolutionary traits. But this fossil was tricky because of its tiny size. The team had to use synchrotron radiation to observe the microstructures inside of the bones. They discovered that the bird's sternum was still made of cartilage and hadn't yet developed into solid bone, meaning it wouldn't have been able to fly. Now, that's something scientists kind of expected, but it was still a success to be able to actually prove it. After all, birds today typically can't fly immediately after birth. Scientists were able to determine that ancient avian species were just as varied as ours are today, even within the same family. Number 3. Ancient Mysterious Mammals The oldest mammal footprints ever found petrified on a beach date back 58 million years, but you'll never guess where the mammal footprints were found. They were discovered in Wyoming, stomped into the rocks seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Of course, millions of years ago, this would have been a beach, a place where mammals gathered during the Paleocene era. Wyoming was technically beachfront property back then, since the Gulf of Mexico covered a much larger area and a huge portion of both Montana and Wyoming were underwater. Wouldn't you have liked to live on a coastal property in southern Wyoming? Imagine that, it was probably a beautiful place to live, if not for all the giant animals wandering around. 
What's really fascinating is that paleontologists have been working to discover bones and fossils in the area for over 30 years, but had never bothered looking for footprints. It was a bit of a shock when they realised they had been walking over proof of extinct animals without even realising it. It wasn't until the sun hit the footprints at just the right angle that one of the researchers from the Texas A&M Natural Resources Institute spotted the tracks. Once he saw a few, it was easy to pick out the rest. After extensive research, we now know the tracks were left by at least two different animals. One of them was a large mammal about the size of a grizzly bear with five toes. The other animal had four toes. The five toed prints were probably made by some kind of Corypidon, which was like a semi-aquatic hippopotamus. The other prints were likely made by a type of hoofed animal, loosely related to deer and elk. However, the prints never matched anything from the fossil records, meaning they could both belong to new species previously undiscovered. There's just no way of knowing by only looking at the footprints. Number two, giant burrowing bat. The fossilized remains of one of the scariest rodents ever has just been found by a team of scientists in New Zealand. This was a giant burrowing bat that lived in the country almost 19 million years ago. And if you thought modern bats were scary, this one is three times the size of most bats on Earth today, making it a literal nightmare creature. Burrowing bats are actually quite fascinating. They live only in New Zealand and are strange because they fly, scurry across the forest floor on their hands and feet like dogs and make their own burrows. They are quite fascinating. Even more amazing is that some of them are still alive today, although they are getting pushed towards extinction. Burrowing bats are related to vampire bats, frog-eating bats and even fishing bats, all of which belong to a bat superfamily that once dominated Australia, New Zealand and South America. That was 50 million years ago when all three pieces of land were still connected. And just like how the land masses were significantly different back then, so too were the bats. Number 1. Dinosaur Tail One of the coolest fossils ever was recently discovered in Mexico. The fossil is that of a dinosaur's tail almost perfectly preserved. It's an uncanny find that was made by a team of archaeologists working with the Natural Institute for Anthropology and History. The find was made in Coahuila and is the first of its kind in Mexico. It also might be the best preserved tail of any dinosaur in the world. The tail measures over 15 feet or 4.5 metres and was likely half the length of the dinosaur it was attached to. What dinosaur was that? Researchers say that it was probably the tail of a hadrosaurid, a type of duck-billed dinosaur that lived 72 million years ago. Other than the animal's tail, scientists also found its hips, though nobody's sure where the rest of its body went. Maybe it was eaten by a Tyrannosaurus rex. Which of these extinct monsters impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for lots more strange and wild content.